Hey skaters, it's Stace here from Next Edge Tutorials and this lesson today, I'm going to be showing you how to take the ice for your next competition. So before we jump in and get started, I want you to click the link below in the description for your free competition checklist. These are things that I personally think are very important to have at competition just in case. So give it a look over, see if you have those items, see if you might need them or you might not want them. Just it's a quick guide for you to look over. Now let's get started with our lesson. So with competition season right around the corner, today I'm going to show you how to take the ice. This is that spot from the moment they call your name to hitting your start position. Because I notice a lot of skaters, they don't tend to practice this. And this is something you want to practice. You want to feel good skating out to the judges. You want to feel confident. You want to feel down in your knees. You want to start using that upper body. We don't want to wait till our music starts before we start really focusing on that. And today I'm gonna to give you two scenarios. I'm gonna keep them both the same with my lower half and I'm gonna show you how you can do something with just strokes and pumps and make it look beautiful. Okay, so the skater before me is just finishing up. Now, I am on the ice. I want to stay warm. And remember, all I'm gonna do is keep it very basic with some pumps. So I might pump in a circle until they call my name. They call my name. Now I'm going to go stroke, stroke, pump, pump, stroke, stroke, hold, hold. And take my start position. Now, as you can see, it's very basic and it just has to do with honestly my upper body and what it's saying to the judges and audience. So I'm gonna show you this second one now and I want you to be able to pick up the difference. All right, I am right back where I started. We are ready for scenario number two. The skater has just finished before me. It is my turn. They haven't called my name yet, so I'm going to keep my body warm. So I might use my arms a bit, focusing on getting down in my knees. They call my name. I'm going to go pump, pump, stroke, stroke, around, around. Press hold, and I take my start position. So as you can see, between the two, there should be a difference. You should be able to pick out the difference. You should be able to go, I wanna watch that second skater. And I didn't do anything different with my lower half of the body. I wanted to show you how you don't necessarily need crossovers if you can't do them. I want you to add in your upper body. I do everything with the intention to stretch out, to use it a bit more because it also, gets me really warm for my program because I know when I skate my program, I don't want to look like a robot unless that is what your program calls for. So just be aware of your upper body. I use my arms a bit more. I use my chin. I might throw in a smile because I am happy to be out there competing. It makes me happy to skate. So I want to show everyone how much I love skating. And that's what you're doing. From the moment you call, they call your name, you are going to show everyone how much you love this sport. I'm here, I'm holding, I am ready for my program. So we're gonna do it one more time and I'm gonna change my arms up just to give you more ideas. So they call my name, pump, pump, stroke, stroke. Okay, I'm gonna give you two scenarios on how you exit the ice. So you finish your program. It wasn't your best that you know that you can do. So you quickly do a bow and you get off the ice. Mm. 
What you have to remember is that you always want to think about the judges are going to stop judging you once you get off the ice. No matter how you skate, you want to exit and feel good about yourself. And I know if I exit, like did the exit that way, I'm not gonna feel good when I get off the ice. I'm not gonna feel good about my skate. So sometimes taking a nice deep breath and going, okay, that wasn't my best skate, but that's okay because I'm gonna do more competitions and I can fix those easy things I made a mistake on. I know that doing a nice bow always made me feel better. You know, it's okay. It's okay to have a bad skate. So let's finish our program. What I mean, our entry and our exit nicely. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, now for scenario number two. Now let's say I did not have my best skate. I am still going to look professional even exiting the ice. So I'm still gonna pull up and take time to breathe. Now I'm going to do nice strokes off the ice. I can even do a pump, pump, and pull up. I'm not going to allow that bad skate to make me feel really bad about my skating because it is one performance. You have to remember that. You're going to do more, so don't beat yourself up if you fall over, okay? You're gonna do another competition and then you can fix that mistake there. It's just so important to end your skate on a positive note, okay? All right, we're gonna take a look at it one more time and I'm gonna change the arm so that it gives you more, of, uh, more ideas that you might wanna use. And I might add a little bit of a spin there. And then you can stroke. You can even do a swizzle, hold, and pull up to exit off the ice. What you have to remember is that even if you can't do crossovers, you can take something as beautiful as a pump and swizzle and make it look very high level. So if you say to yourself, hey, I can't do crossovers to get out to my spy, that's okay. You can do beautiful pumps. No matter what, you can take the ice and exit the ice beautiful. And another thing that I tell my skaters, start if you have a character that um, in your program, go ahead and use it here when you take the ice. If you have a Spanish program, add in a Spanish arm. If you're doing a robot program, set the tone of your program from the moment you step onto the ice. It's exciting. I'm always like, oh, I can't wait to see what that skater's gonna do. So just remember, don't forget how important it is, how you take the ice and how you exit the ice. Thanks for watching Next Edge Tutorials and hopefully I gave you some ideas that you can use at your next competition.